<laughs> and one more calculation and the city will be ours! Hold it right there, Romeo! Step away from the computer and put your hands up! <laughs> oh, I would, but there's only one of you and three of us! Correction, Romeo! Three of us and only one of you! Oh no! What am I gonna do? I guess I only have one choice left! Press the self-destruct button! Wait, what? No! Don't press the button! Well, uh, what happened? Uh, there was like an explosion and, and now look at us! Yeah, I feel all blocky! Well, that's what happens when you press a button you've never pressed before! And now, see ya! Wait a minute, Romeo, he's getting away! Hey, let's check the stockpile out. This'll be the perfect blaster. Romeo, get back here! Hehehe, <laughs> and don't make me destroy you again. I'll see you on the flip side. Oh, oh boy, a gecko alert! We got a problem, Romeo got away! Well, right now we've got an even bigger problem, cause Night Ninja and Luna Curl are waking up! <laughs> hey, Night Ninja, get back here! Oh, and there goes Luna Curl! Come on, let's go after him! No, Gecko! Oh, we gotta get Romeo! He's the one that can transform us back! Huh, good point, Catboy! Okay, everyone, come on this way! Hehehehe, <laughs> oh, those PJ Masks will certainly be after me! I've gotta find a place to hide, and when I do, I'll zap them! Hey, wait a minute, this tree gives me an idea! Okay, we're here, and now Romeo's gotta be around here somewhere. Don't worry, we'll find him, Gecko. I feel like he's around here, but I just can't put my finger on it. Hmm, not in this building. And I don't think he's getting a haircut. Uh, maybe he should get a wig, though. That'll change his crazy hairdo. No, I wasn't able to find him! Me neither, but I know he's close by! <laughs> and the PJ Masks have no idea I'm in this tree! I guess it's time to zap him! One, two, three! Hey, it's Romeo! He must have fallen out of that tree! Yeah, oh, beaten by a wet! You PJ Masks, quit chasing me! No! Yeah. <laughs> that ought to teach you, I'm out of here! Ah, Catboy, uh, are you okay? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, he just set his ray gun to stun! Well, come on guys, we're so close to capturing him! And <laughs> there's gotta be something I can grab to get away! Hey, oh, wait a minute, this might be exactly what I need! Hey, uh, Catboy, I think I see Romeo, he's over there, come on! Yeah, <laughs> so long! Ah, oh, man, so close! Oh, well, that was a great sandwich, and hey, where's my car? Call me crazy, but I have a feeling that one of you two took it. Ah, uh, well, actually, it was our nemesis, Romeo. He's an eight-year-old boy who's a scientist. Oh boy, yep, definitely call me crazy. Hey, thanks for watching. Now, today we are going to check out these uh, PJ Masks building blocks. And these are not Lego. I mean, they're made to look like Lego minifigures, but these were not made by uh, Lego. Was able to find these online so we can build each one. Now I think this first one that I'm opening up here is Night Ninja and so when they're given to us they're given to us in all of the little pieces here um, with the little hands and the arms that we actually have to put together ourselves. So Night Ninja is just pretty uh, blank um, canvas. I would imagine that if Lego made these, it would, it would look probably a lot better. But uh, 
you just uh, put the arms together and I'll put uh, one of these together to show you how to do it. So usually when Lego gives it to you, they give you the, the top, they've already done, they've already put the arms in, and they've already put the hands in for the, the minifigure. In this case, we gotta do it ourselves, which is kinda difficult, um, because these pieces are so small. So you can see that I am putting this together, there we go. So here's what like here's what Lego would give you. They they'd probably give you this piece. Now this is cool though because the hands are are light blue. And we've got the little legs here, and we've got the head, and the face does look pretty pretty close to uh, Night Ninja's Night Ninja's face. You can see uh, they they do a good job with the design. Other than Gecko, when I show you Gecko, I wish they would have given us a helmet or whatever. Now, for whatever reason, they give us this uh, this gun for Night Ninja, but he's a ninja, that's not what he usually uses. But they do give us also this little platform. You put the little, you put this little figure on the platform, and here is Night Ninja. So now here we have Gecko, and uh, it's pretty cool. We do have the Gecko symbol right here in light green, and then he's dark green, and he has the light green knee pads, and everything. So they do a pretty good job. It's pretty basic on the backhand side. Here's the the problem I have is that uh, they don't give him like a, a mask or a helmet with the ridges on there. There. Um, and they easily could have because for uh, Catboy and Outlet they do give them masks so it would be really easy for them to do that. The funny thing is they also give them a gun like a, a Tommy gun here. So uh, this is pretty pretty interesting character but they do an okay job making him look like Gecko here and I can't tell what color his eyes are. They look just all black and he's got this sort of smirk type of smile. All right, now let's check out Romeo. All right, so Romeo, I get it. He, the, the shirt looks pretty good. He's got, um, he's got like a, the little belt or the little strap or whatever for his, uh, for his pack and stuff. Now, if this were Lego, I'm sure they would give us one of those uh, cloth skirts. Oh, look, see how the legs sort of broken? Let's try to fix that. Maybe this, maybe this is not fixable. Who knows, we'll see. Now, there we go, snapped it into place, very good. Okay, so with uh, with Romeo here, if this were Lego, they'd probably give him like a little skirt or something so, to make it look like he's wearing an overcoat. These gloves, uh, these are dark blue. They usually you would use like turquoise. And then the hair is usually black with a white stripe in there. This is brown. But otherwise, the, the hair looks pretty good, kind of straight up in the back and everything, and even has the, the goggles on. This looks more like a, a girl than like Romeo, but they also give him a gun as well. So let's now check out Catboy here. See, Catboy, they give a mask to, so it's a it's pretty good mask. Um, it's like a helmet or, or something. But here we go, so there's Catboy without the mask on. You can see he's got like this, and then they actually do a pretty good job, I think, with Catboy and with Owlette. So he's got the three cat scratches on the top of his head. He has the Catboy symbol. Then he's got all the cat scratches around him in that light blue color. Uh, Catboy also has these sort of lighter bluish gloves right here. And then he's also given this uh, this gun, and so you have to put everything together. On the backhand side, they always keep the backs pretty plain looking. So it's the front and hand side where all the, the detail is, is put into this. Next we have Luna Girl. And uh, Luna Girl is interesting. Um, she does have the white draped hair, and she does have the mask over her eyes. Now, if we take this off, it's trying to be easier said than done. Oh. Now, all, also because these are not Lego, these do not fit as well. They're more like more like uh, Mega Block types of fitting. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to get the head off. Anyway, it's okay. So with the head off, you can just see uh, the forehead a little bit better. She does have a smirk on her face. Now she has the Luna Girl symbol, which is good. They put that on there, so 
lunar uh, symbol as well. And then if you look, let me tilt this into the light, you can see that her, her uh, torso is like kind of sparkly or whatever, just a little bit if you can see that. And they should have used this same material for Night Ninja. There you see it can, it's sparkling just a little bit. And then she just has black pants on the, on the bottom there. Last but not least, we've got Owlette here. And Owlette, again, they do a pretty good job with. Um, so she's got the mask, and this looks like, let me see if I can take it off. No, it's not gonna let me take her uh, head off. I guess her head is stuck in there, but you can see her eyes in there. And um, so she's got these like red eyes, little smirk. She also has the Owlette symbol right here. And she has the, uh, the kind of the red everything. She's got like the red gloves, the red pants. She is also given a gun for some reason, but they do give her a cape, a red cape, which is, is pretty cool in, in my eyes with everything they haven't given. The fact they gave the cape and the mask and everything. The mask honestly looks like the LM mask, so they did a pretty good job with her. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Toys of You Toys channel. Now let me know in the comments which one you think is the best and which best represents their characters on TV. Is it Gecko, Outlet, or is it Catboy? And then tap or click on a picture to watch another fun video. Have a great day.